on the banks of Lake Superior. Look on the Superior National Forest in Minnesota. So we are up today at the crack of dawn. And from what I understand, this is the tallest waterfall in the state of Minnesota. Remember what the Chippewa called this one, Shane? It's just as we keep going, doesn't it seem that way? It's getting more intense in terms of a, a smoky look. Check that out. So today we're going to do the Oberg hiking trail. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to America's National Parks up here in northern Minnesota. So I did a little research on Superior National Forest. Not a ton of information out there on the web, but I tried to find four of the most popular, probably maybe the best, I guess, based upon my research destinations in and just around the National Forest. So that's basically what this video is gonna be about. Four different destinations here in Superior National Forest in Northern Minnesota. And we're just starting our first one right now. So today we're gonna to do the Oberg hiking trail and the loop is about 2.25 miles. First day of spring and I just wanna sing to everything that's moving, every single little thing. Okay, this is a mountain loop, so you can see we made it up to the loop itself. A little bit of an incline, not too bad. Loop starts here, we'll go that way. But you also see Superior Hiking Trails. So there's a network of trails that go through Superior National Forest as well. And uh, all kinds of trails, all different destinations. I think we just popped into our view. Yeah, the big lake, not just Lake Michigan. This is the real big lake. <laughs> Remember what the Chippewa called this one, Shane? Uh, the Great Lake? Gitchagumi. That's Lake Superior, Gitchagumi. Look at the size of that. It looks like the ocean, doesn't it? Yeah. That is huge. It's our first view of Lake Superior. Pretty neat. I'm sure we'll be seeing more of it. Got my shoes in my hand and my feet in the sand I got 20 ducklings in a row like a little marching band and they sing ooh, ah, mm, ooh, ah. so there's some nasty wildfires that are going on up here in northern Minnesota right now you can see there's a haze in the air Basically, they said there's a significant drought taking place, and you could tell. I mean, look at this poor guy. There's like nothing left of him. Ain't water up here badly in northern Minnesota. So we're approaching another scenic overlook of Lake Superior. Let's see what we got at this one. I'll do it from Superior National Forest. Thanks so much for traveling with us. Hope you enjoyed. You know, what am I signing out for already? This was only the first of four videos. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Let's sign up by one of the waterfalls. Let's get out of the way and let the people just enjoy the view. How's that sound? Check that out. Oh, to the couples in love and the seagulls above and any other living thing or creature I can think of. I want to sing. Ooh, I want to sing. So we're gonna move on to the next site, but a quick recap on this one. Great trail, really beautiful, not too many people out here. Probably due to the drought, but there were no mosquitoes that were attacking us. That's impressive for Northern Minnesota. Signs all over the place, indicating the different berries that are growing up here. Some of them are edible, some of them are poisonous. A little work to get to the top at the end of the loop. At the end of the loop, incredible overlooks of Lake Superior. All right, stop number two. Start us out, Shane. Take some sips. How's that? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, buddy? Really it's a malt. Can you taste the difference? 
All right, say hello for dad, guys. Say hello for dad. So we are up to hit the crack of dawn, and we are going to try to hit another cool site here in Superior National Forest. Technically, it's Judge Magny State Park, Upper Falls, and Devil's Kettle Falls. Let's go. All right, these must be the steps that they warned us about. You guys remember how many? I think it's 170. I think you're right. You guys up for it? Yeah. We're ready. All right, what's 170? Let's do it. So, we have made it to the Upper Falls. About a one mile hike to get to this point. Shane been done for? <laughs> oh, Shane. half an hour. <laughs> You're sitting there, you've had lunch already, <laughs> taking a 10 minute break, and finally dad comes up. But for the viewer, 24 hours ago, I was making the, the ugly video on my sleeping bag from Isle Royale National Park. You gotta watch that video. That was exactly 24 hours ago from this point. I'm just happy to be out and vertical. All right, so that's the upper falls. Devil's Kettle Falls, 700 feet up. You want to do it? Yeah. 700 feet's no joke. You up for that, Shane? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So the 700 feet was distance. Thankfully, not elevation. All right, we're on to stop number three. Watch as the sun rises, do fall asleep instead. Ooh, 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 this is how it ought to be. Every day should be like a hovering cloud. Ooh, 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 when it's only you and me. No one else can bother us, step on our feet. Step on our feet. So we got these wildfires that are burning throughout this portion of the state. And as we're going south on Route 61, hugging the shores of Lake Superior, you can see how the skies are turning, boy, almost a, a hazy orange color. There was full sunshine a little while ago. And you can see it, it's just as we keep going, doesn't it seem that way? It's getting more intense in terms of a, a smoky look. I don't think the fires are right here. I'm assuming the wind is just blowing it this way, but it is uh, a little scary right here. Wow. So for stop number three, we are still in Superior National Forest. Technically, it's Grand Portage State Park. You can see over to my left, we are at the border crossing into Canada. We're on the very northernmost eastern side tip of the state of Minnesota. And let's go check out from what I heard, a tremendous waterfall. About a half mile in on this trail, and we are approaching High Falls. And from what I understand, this is the tallest waterfall in the state of Minnesota. Cause I do the same for you, just like I'm supposed to do. I'm yours, you're mine. If you ever feel a blue, you see that river down there? there yeah. That's the Pigeon River. 
If you cross that river, where are you going to end up? I think you're going to end up in Canada. That's right. That is the international border between the U.S. and Canada. Very good. So it's pretty neat. Over on the Canada side, you can see the remnants of the old log flume. They bring the logs down the river and put them on the flume to bypass the waterfall. That's fine. So this is the Pigeon River right here, and this is what the traders would use to get back and forth from the south up to the north. But the problem is you got 20 miles of river here that is dotted with all kinds of waterfalls like this monster behind me right here. So they made a route to go around all these waterfalls that was nine miles long, and that is what is called the famous Grand Portage. And by the way, if you haven't seen it yet, check out our visit to Grand Portage National Monument right here in this area another cool piece of American history. So stop number four and our final stop was supposed to be the Honeymoon Bluff Trail, but we were just informed that that area most likely is closed off because a massive fire up in the Boundary Water area, which has shut down that entire canoeing district. That's amazing. So rather than taking a chance and driving an hour and a half up there, we're gonna pass on it. And with that said, from Superior National Forest, we are signing out. Thanks so much for traveling with us. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to America's Parks. And from way up here in Northern Minnesota, what do we tell everybody? There's always, always room, room for you. On every National Park adventure. Yeah, they've been trained well. God bless you, take care. <laughs>